Boom Supersonic, the company behind what is touted to be the next supersonic passenger aircraft, the Overture, has finally secured an engine maker to deliver the power plants for its jet. Announced at its Greensboro site, the home of its future manufacturing facilities, Boom revealed plans to work with Florida Turbine Technologies, Standard Aero and GE Additive, a unit of GE Aerospace, to develop the engines it needs for the overture. The engine being developed has been dubbed the, the Symphony and is described by the company as a new propulsion system designed and optimized for the overture. Blake Scholl, founder and CEO of Boom Supersonic, commented on the partnership, saying, Developing a supersonic engine specifically for overture offers by far the best value proposition for our customers. Through the Symphony program, we can provide our customers with an economically and environmentally sustainable supersonic airplane a combination unattainable with the current constraints of derivative engines and industry. Boom had faced being shut out by many of the world's largest engine makers, with the likes of Pratt & Whitney, Rolls-Royce, GE Aviation, Honeywell and Safran all publicly stating they had no interest in developing engines for the jet. Nevertheless, Boom maintained it would find and announce an engine maker before the end of 2022. These manufacturers are no Rolls-Royce or Pratt & Whitney, but they do have a strong track record in propulsion technologies. Florida Turbine Technologies is based in Jupiter, Florida, and has offices all over the world. It's been around since 1988 as an engineering services firm, but evolved into a turbo machinery designer and manufacturer specializing in manufacturing and developing gas turbines for both military and commercial applications. The company was bought out in March 2019 by California-based Kratos Defense and Security Solutions. At the time, Kratos CEO Eric DeMarco noted that the acquisition was part of Kratos' goal to develop advanced, affordable engines for a new class of hypersonic propulsion system. The arm of Kratos that FTT occupies has so far been working on high-performance jet engines for cruise missiles and unmanned aerial systems. So although the Overture project will be a new venture for the company, it's not exactly entering unknown territory. Standard Aero has a legacy dating back to 1911, when it was founded as Standard Machine Works in Manitoba, Canada. It began life repairing, overhauling and rebuilding engines for cars, trucks and tractors. In the 1930s it formed an aero engine division and began rebuilding piston power plants, subsequently becoming authorized MRO providers for Pratt & Whitney, de Havilland, and more. It began overhauling turbine engines in 1960 and has grown from there. At present, the firm doesn't make its own engines, but it does maintenance, repair, and operations work for business, commercial and military aviation. The firm is approved to provide services for CFM International, Rolls-Royce, Safran, Pratt & Whitney and many more, including Rotorcraft. GE Additive is a metal additive manufacturing company and a subsidiary of GE Aviation. Metal additive manufacturing is also known as metal 3D printing, using a heat source such as a laser or electron beam to heat metal in power or wire form. The molten metal is then formed into an object. This sort of process offers exemplary design freedom with improved efficiency and, most importantly for Boom, to increase the speed to market or stronger and lighter parts. Original concept designs of the Overture pegged it as a twin jet, later it became a tri-jet, 
but the most recent and final iteration of the design has the aircraft as a quad jet. Two pod engines under each wing will be tasked with propelling the aircraft across the world at supersonic speeds. We selected a four-engine configuration after extensive R&D and efforts to understand the supply chain capabilities of our partners. Using four engines lets us shrink the size of each engine, allowing production to fall within current supply chain and manufacturing capabilities, all while reducing the noise levels of the aircraft. The use of four engines instead of three also keeps weight and temperature within existing technology constraints while allowing Overture to work within established supply chain and maintenance. Crucial to this four-engine design is the need to be able to reach supersonic speeds without requiring afterburners, a feature that made Concorde so very loud and inefficient. The engines are pitched to be small, quiet turbofans, hence the need for four, as opposed to two very large and heavy units. They will be designed to run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel from the outset. Boom also says it's designing to make maintenance of the aircraft easier, which is why it moved away from the tri-jet design. Engines under the wings are far easier to work on than one mounted on the tail. For weight and balance, the engines will be located toward the rear of the aircraft. With engine makers in place, the race is on to develop and test the propulsion technology in time for Boom's goal of starting manufacturing in 2024. That's not long to create a complete engine and test it to the extent that it could be installed on a flying overture. Boom wants to roll out the first overture in 2026, with a view to beginning its test flight campaign in 2027. Both the aircraft and the engine will need to be certified before either can enter into service, although the firm could begin flight testing with an uncertified engine as an experimental aircraft. Nevertheless, the road ahead is going to be long and expensive for Boom, despite today's progress on its goals. If you enjoyed this video, then please take a moment to support the channel by hitting the like and subscribe button, and thank you for watching my video.